right, so white punk it is, and now taking a look, uh, of course, uh, at the TOG starting point, they shall be starting up north. Yep, and their opponent's FBB starting down south. We'll probably see the FBB teams camping some more in that uh, southern industrial area, whereas we'll have to see what TOG has to offer. Well, TOG uh, going for a much, much uh, stronger lineup in terms of uh, firepower, mm -hmm. uh, opting for uh, three uh, Chinese uh, 110s. Oh, well, actually, this time we have a tank destroyer in, in this game. Yeah, on the on the yes, FBB we do. team. Yeah. On the FBB uh, two uh, side, we do have a tier uh, seven, no eight, uh, yep, eight. tank destroyer mm -hmm. T twenty two, as a matter of fact. Uh, whereas their opponents TOG deciding to go with a five heavy tank strong. Yep. And looking at the TOG side, they're actually opting to camp in that northeastern uh, kind of ruined city area. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, actually, the only area that provides excellent cover mm -hmm. uh, up north. And now those T1s are uh, uh, trading bullets. Yep. But I feel like, you know, because FPP is most likely going to camp and not move. But this, at the same time, you know, TOG is looking to camp right now as well. So, I mean, we could see a long drawn out match or set this time around as well. Because neither team, if neither team decides to push out, then it's just going to end in a draw. Yeah, it certainly uh, will. Uh, right now, of course, those T1s uh, trying to get a peek at each other in that central section of the map uh, where that uh, railroad bridge is cutting uh, this map into two. Yep. And, uh, well, right now it does look like uh, FB2 is just uh, concentrating their heavy troops um, on that eastern road. Mm -hmm. Okay, a T1 going down here on oh, uh, yeah, the uh, TOG down. side. Yeah, so that first T1 goes down on the TOG side. Slight, slight advantage going to FB. They will have a little bit more vision on the map, but actually it's kind of sneaky coming out from TOG. They have that one measly scout on that on that western uh, city area. Well, just uh, leaving their options open, but mm -hmm. right now, uh, yes, uh, TOG is definitely, definitely, definitely just uh, squatting uh, those ruins up northeast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they do... They haven't spotted each other yet, I believe. I mean, have they? Have they spotted each other yet? No, they have not. Not the heavy troops, uh, mm. at least. Uh, they, they have not. But uh, you know what? Uh, coming from TOG, they, they can just relax mm -hmm. uh, from where they are because they're just right next to their starting position. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to FB2, well, they've got the tank destroyer. So uh, if they just uh, decide to camp it like that, uh, we're definitely heading for another draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so neither team is moving just yet. And again, I mean, the FB team really like those AMX 50s. Uh, last in the first set, they decided to go for, I believe, was it four? Four AMX 50s? No, 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 it was, uh, no, no, uh, they, they did have T-34. Uh, Actually, no, three AMX 50s, that's right. Yeah, they had, yeah, like, three AMX yeah. 50s as well, but still, like, uh, definitely uh, favoring those French tanks. Yeah, so definitely liking those AMX 50s. And on the opponent side, oh, they, and the TOD side actually went for 110s. Yeah, uh, the Chinese 110, of course, and uh, there we are. We've got those uh, three 110s moving out right now. They decided to uh, uh, leave those uh, ruins up northeast, and yeah. uh, so they're uh, just converging back to their starting point. Uh, I think they realize that FB is not going to move. No, they're not going to move. Uh, yeah. Actually, they're supposed to move. I mean, yeah. they're, they're the ones starting in the southern position, yeah. so they're the ones having with the slight, slight advantage in terms of offense, but they're not moving. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I guess they're FBB not moving at all. So right now, uh, as a matter of fact, it looks like they're going to go for western push. Perhaps uh, they have been spotted by the scout, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have been spotted. So they have been spotted uh, by the T1 scout mm -hmm. uh, from uh, from FBB2. Yeah, and FBB is still not moving from that southeastern corner. Well, no, so they're not. Yeah. Um, well, they're quite happy with the tank destroyer, just uh, having that uh, direct straight line up uh, to those ruins, pretty much mm -hmm. in terms of uh, of a firing range. But uh, they're not moving out. But if this so. comes to a close quarter combat scenario, I feel like the FPV or the T TOG team will have a slight advantage because of those one tens. Like the one tens, they have a really bouncy front hall and turret. So like, even though it comes to a firefight. You know, potentially some of the shots fired from 
the AMX 50s and from you know the might rebound other as well. And, and yeah, besides, might. like yeah, like we said, the two AMX 50s are great when it comes to uh, just uh, firing rapid succession. Mm -hmm. Of course, with that six round unloader, but uh, at the same time, they do have uh, perhaps the weakest armor mm -hmm. uh, within yeah. their tier. So they have uh, pretty weak armor, yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to prolonged the close quarter combat, as you've mentioned, uh, not necessarily an advantage. Yeah. If the, yeah. If 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 the TLG side can, I, uh, I guess bait out some of the shells coming out from those AMX 50s and make them actually have to reload, then the, the TLG side would be in a huge advantage because um, you know it takes a really long time for those AMX 50s to reload. Really. It takes about you know almost a minute. So, indeed, you know, indeed it does. It'll be a minute where, where the FPB AMX 50s can't, can't fire a single shot. And now uh, TLG sort of uh, deciding to go back to those ruins. Uh, they're, they're not taking any risk uh, at, at this point. Uh, but you know what, if you ask me, like really FBB2, uh, it, it seems pretty clear to me now that uh, this is not the kind of team that moves out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to say the least. But they, they did send out their tier 1 scout and these two tier 1 scouts have spotted each other on that eastern railway area. So a little bit of damage going out onto this uh, yeah, TDOG tower. Yeah, through uh, the wagon. But as a matter of fact, this is the last, uh, this is the last T1 remaining. Yep. On the TOG side. Oh, and but blown out uh, yeah, by that heavy shot tank. coming yep. out from that FB tank. So actually, the FPP team is, is slightly, and slightly And now the FPP team out. actually just deciding to go for yeah, a flanking yeah, maneuver yeah. Uh, to uh, the west. Yeah, so finally the FPP team deciding to move out, actually using that uh, western road now to actually try and move out towards the northern part of the map, hopefully. And the TOG side actually kind of retreated back to that, that northeastern corner. And I, meanwhile, <coughs> player 4 again here with his T32 who uh, took out uh, an FPP2 scout. Mm -hmm. So one T1 down. Yeah. I kind of wish that, that I kind of wish that TOG stayed in that western part because if when FPV decided to move out towards that eastern part as well, then they could actually meet each other. And well, I mean, potentially here fight. we could go for for a surrounding maneuver, mm -hmm. but uh, but you know what? Uh, once again, those ruins really, really are hard to take over. Uh, yeah. You know, remember we've seen it yesterday, uh, same map, uh, uh, similar strategies involved, and it was Avantgarde versus Seika BBS, and Seika BBS was just like squatting those ruins. And although, uh, uh, although Avantgarde did a pretty good job, like with more mobility than those T-69s and not just trying to get in those ruins, it's very, very hard to take over, uh, mm. especially with 5-8 tanks just squatting the place. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yes, yeah, so right now it does look like FBV2 is going for the push. Mm -hmm. uh, they definitely uh, are coming in from the uh, west, and so uh, they're getting to uh, the, uh, they're getting closer and closer to the TOG starting point, but uh, you know what, uh, it's just, uh, and yeah, they're, they're going for a surrounding maneuver here. Yeah, and, and uh, actually the TOG tanks are actually expecting a push from the railways. They well, they, they are expecting a push from the railway, but uh, they'll realize soon enough yeah. that uh, these guys have uh, split in their forces. Well, so actually they're, they're going for a slight bait here because they're sending one of those uh, one of those heavy tanks down that railway. And yeah, but you still have the tank destroyer though. Uh -huh. uh, the tank destroyer that's providing like a uh, pretty decent uh, fire uh, yeah, uh, from yeah. the railroad as well. Oh, so and that's a nice shot out, yeah. From that tank destroyer actually taking uh, that that T-32 down to a little under 50%. Yeah, and now uh, the rush is coming from the western front as well. So uh, yeah, a pretty good sandwiching sort oh, of yeah, move so here. Oh yeah, they have been spotted now. And they actually, they have to turn their turrets now, or else they will take a lot of damage. And this tank might go down. Oh, and he's on Oh, he's on fire, yes, and yes, he will get he taken, gets down. taken down. So uh, yeah, the brilliant maneuver here from yeah. FBB2, finally, uh, with some uh, Movement. Yeah, so definitely some great play coming out from FBB. They they actually going for a brilliant flank, uh, flank because they sent two of their tanks down that eastern railway and they sent the rest of their tanks down that uh, down that western kind of path. And yes, indeed, and the tank destroyer lot. definitely yeah. paying off here. That tank destroyer already getting two kills, so yeah. uh, definitely uh, doing a great job uh, laying siege to that uh, uh, northeastern like uh, ruin. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I think he's actually getting shots through those windows. So great, he is great getting shots accuracy. through those windows, uh, yes indeed, and uh, the tank destroyer just pretty safe all the way down there pretty much, so he's not getting shot at, and he's picking opponents one after the other. Down 13, and he gets taken down, only two tanks remaining on the TOG side, it's not looking good for them, and it looks like most likely they will get tied up right here. 
That's indeed, and meanwhile going for the base capture as well, so uh, yeah, it's pretty much game over for TOG on yeah. that front. So a really, really nice display uh, from FBB2. Uh, as a matter of fact, like really, uh, I'm actually quite happy to see yeah. them play like this. Because I, I really was worried that they might just sit this one through as well, but uh, they did use, especially a tank destroyer, to uh, uh, lethal efficiency. So yes, it's going to be a successful uh, base capture for them. Yep, so 92. Just under five more seconds left until this base capture is completed. Only one tank remaining on the TOG side, and it looks like this second set will go to FBB. Yes, so uh, FBB.